Hey, I'm Sarah, and welcome to Readings. On Monday, I did an all of Pisces reading. And I was asked if I could do that, please, for Capricorn. Yes, indeed. So we're going to do a Capricorn. It's a three-part read, but we're going to put it all in one video. And we're going to do Capricorn singles, Capricorn married. Now, remember, married is also a bond with someone that you may be living with. That's still a marriage. And Capricorn waiting for someone. We're going all playing cards. We're going to start with a blue deck. Blue deck. We're going to then move to the eye of the ocean. And for the third reading, we'll go into the Gypsy Witch fortune telling cards. Okay. A lot of energy. Let's see if we can pull it off. <laughs> Remember, if it resonates, that's great. But don't make it fit. Capricorn singles. Capricorn singles. Let's get her on. And let's get her done. Capricorn singles. Well, Capricorn singles, I believe you're working towards a goal. You're also refusing love. But you are working towards a goal. You fight uh, a wish fulfillment, but with the following cards is refusing a cup of love. So I, I think maybe Capricorn singles that you're refusing any kind of love that might be coming towards you, but instead you're working on something. What are you working on? You can't make it up. There's great, great possibility of a ship coming in. Now what I'm seeing here is it could be two things. You are working on better things, waiting for better things to come in, or you could just be working and around the corner there could be a love ship coming in towards you, even though you're kind of refusing love right now. But let's keep going. Well, wow, you've got something coming in here. Hmm. Oh. oh, okay. <laughs> well, Capricorn singles, the first thing I'm picking up is a possibility that somebody might be coming back to say hello. Do I see they want to bring a cup of love? I do see it's a soulmate. But I really don't really pick up this Maybe if they're bringing a cup of love, but I would definitely have you wanting to refuse that. This is a soulmate that you had to get the hell away from. A soulmate that caused you to row off into more tranquil waters. It's just too stormy over here. I gotta, I gotta find some calmer waters. But there is some kind of great thing coming towards you that's going to bring you a nice little chunk of change. Now there's a celebration of some sort coming towards you. What I'm feeling is this is not your celebration. This is somebody else's celebration. And you're probably getting an invite. Now it might be, Spirit says, I got this feeling that something's coming in June, July for you that you might actually know about. It could be the birth of a child or it could be someone getting married. Or just someone's birthday party. Someone celebrating, I don't know, their 40th, 20th anniversary or something like that. But I want you to go there. Don't say no to any invites. I want you to go there, Capricorn, because it's going to end up being enriching. Now, I don't know if it's going to bring you money or not, but it's going to bring you this feeling of security. There's just all over, just this 
really nice feeling. I do see, though, as for a love, you do look back. There is still pain there, whatever this is. They're still looking back, but I really do feel that you had to leave it out in the cold and you had to go to some calmer waters. It might have been real turbulent. You could have been dealing with a Sagittarius or a Cancer, maybe even a Gemini. But I want you to go because there's something that's going to be worth your time to go. Don't say no. Go. Put on your, your nicest smile. Clean yourself up real nice. Because the Bastardo is coming out here now. A new subscriber, Sebastardo is a deceptive messenger. Never quite know what it has to say. But what I got here is a messenger coming to you. And you will be noticed for something. Capricorn Singles. You will be recognized for something. You got a passion about you. Which is, <laughs> you know Capricorns, they hide their passions. Because everything is work. And I do have the work card here. But everything is work, everything is achievement, success. They're big thinkers and they're great entrepreneurs. But you're different. You got this great passion about yourself. Sometimes you find it hard to make decisions. But you've got a great passion. You will be recognized for this passion. And it will take away any kind of anxieties or worries or frets any kind of things that might be plaguing you it will like it'll just vanish something real good here Capricorn you will hold on to it but you won't take a leap into it but my god but you, you know what what are you holding on to well there's something there that you might feel guilty about with the seven of swords in the reverse. Now normally, that is a thief and a liar and a cheat, a scoundrel. But in the reverse, this is feeling remorse. Feeling regrets. Don't we all have those? But you seem to be holding on to something even though you don't plan on taking the leap with it. What I'm seeing is maybe someone from the past is thinking highly about you. Somebody probably wants to come back and see you. But I really don't think you're interested at all. But with the Nine of Pentacles coming out here, and I like to call that the tickety-boo card. Wherever you're invited to go, and I'm going to say June or July, I'm going to suggest you go, no matter what it is. Even if it's a baptism. Wherever you're invited, I want you to go. Because you're going to find something extremely enlightening. Is it someone? No. It's something. And it will work on your passion. It will work on your... You're all over being. It's very, very enlightening. And you'll be able to let go of things that you might have problems letting go of. Whoa, my darling, you got the star. Mmm, the star. Now be careful. I don't see you taking a leap, but that's with someone from the past. I don't see you taking a leap there. But with the star here, I, I don't want you to jump in to this wonderful, wonderful feeling. Well, wait, wait, hold on. Tell yourself the truth. Hold on. We got messengers like crazy. Messengers like crazy. Someone's missing you awful, awful bad. Someone's missing you terribly, darling. But what I got here is, don't jump into the deep end with both feet right away. Okay, with the start. But there's great possibilities for, for some wonderful things here. It will make you feel imbalanced. Did you ever get news that just throws you off balance? And the news I got here for you is some real good stuff, Capricorn. It's going to make you feel tickety-boo. It's going to fill your body, your mind, your heart, 
your spirit with great emotions of enlightenment. Now, I don't know if you're going to meet someone new here or what this is, but I do have the possibility that there is a ship coming in, a great love, a great loving ship, the love that you've always desired and wanted. But tell yourself the truth, okay? I've got another messenger right now. You don't want to talk. Right now, you don't want to talk. And if you're feeling that way right now, that I just don't want to talk to anybody. I'm just working in my own damn business. And I'm not interested in love. I don't want to communicate with anybody. I just want to mind my own damn business and do my thing. And, and heal and forget things. Then if that sounds like you right now, then you're going to be invited somewhere and I want you to go because there's something waiting for you. Bless your heart, darling. Yeah, it could be Pisces. A lot of emotion. Could be a Pisces. Or it could be a Pisces that you got your walls up against. But before the cards turn, because I think I got a cross watcher big time here. I really do feel, Capricorn, that there's someone that's really, someone that you had a very strong bond with, but you got your walls up against them. There is possibility here that someone misses you terribly. But if you don't plan on going back, I gotta say, if you're stepping on through, you got some real good stuff coming in. So we have Pisces, we have Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Gemini. There's a Taurus, there's a Capricorn, and a Cancer. All signs are on the board for you, but this is what's prominent. That was for Capricorn singles. Now we're going to go to the eye of the ocean. We're going to do Capricorn married. And like I've said before, this can be living common law. Capricorn married. What is your reading? Capricorn married. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Capricorn married. Wow, the wow, 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 what the heck? Oh, 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 oh. All right. Nightmare. Ten wands and ten swords. What the hell is this? This is not a this is not a marriage. What is going on here? There's a lot of heaviness, negative energies, sadness. You know what this is? This is tower. You might not be showing signs of the tower, but seriously, Capricorn, what I'm picking up is either you or your partner is extremely, extremely, very, very sad about being married. Who is this? What is going on? Wow. Fighting. Fighting opportunities to try to get along with each other here. So there's a, wow, this is real heavy energy. And I hate to read these things, but with the opportunity door opening up here and fighting that opportunity door, because the only thing I can see when you got nasty cards like this you got cards like that, and you fight the opportunity, that means you're fighting the opportunity to try to get rid of this, to fight this and get rid of it. This is, I don't even want to work on it anymore. But I can't leave. For some reason, I can't leave. But... Now, there seems to be someone who is a controller, or you're both controlling. Not giving each other a break. Like, 
uh, this is a possibility. See, with, with the Eight of Cups, oh, the Eight of Cups is straight up. There's a possibility that you are thinking about leaving Capricorn. And, and you are trying to make a decision here whether you should leave or not. This is very sad. Because what once was your wish fulfillment has turned itself upside down and the cups are pouring into the earth. And all those wonderful blessings no longer exist. Now I have I have the NARC card here. And if it's not a narc, it's just someone who is controlling. It doesn't have to be a narcissist, but just a very controlling person. Someone who almost refuses to budge. i got to have the limelight. I've got to have the spotlight. It's all about me. Holy crap. See, the thing is... Oh, what am I picking up? I'm picking up one is enlightened, and the other is um, enlightened in a different way. So one is enlightened, I believe, that wants to work on the marriage. Now it could be you or it could be the other side. It could be your spouse. But here comes the bastardo in the middle there. And then I got the Queen of Spades. So one is enlightened, but the other is enlightened in another way. And how is that? That is a street smart. Someone who is, um, they pull the sword, they make judgment calls. It is someone who could be also um, strong in their footing. Refusing, well, with the neck card coming out here, the ego card, is refusing to believe that, that they could be wrong. But the other seems to be more enlightened. There's truths coming in here. Well, you, you know what? I think the two of you have financial problems. There's definitely financial problems here, but there's also something that tells me that Someone may think that, uh, to tell the truth, somebody may think that uh, uh, maybe one of you in the marriage might have been a little bit light-footed. Maybe have looked on another side at someone else. And, and it's, it's or, or may have been giddy. So suppose that you went to a party with your spouse. And maybe you didn't want to go, but you went. And they went. And maybe they had a couple of drinks too many. And maybe they just got giddy and silly and maybe a little bit flirty. Yeah, you know, it's, it's strange that sometimes we don't even have proof of something. We just put it up in our heads that it's happening. And it can destroy, thought can destroy relationships so easily. Oh, you were very, very uh, uh, flirty. And, and you sat on that person's knee. Or, or you let that person sit on your knee. Yeah? And, and that disrespected me. And, and instead of just sitting and talking about it, uh, <laughs> well, maybe the person that you are attracted to when you first met them was flirty and, and that's just who they are and what they're like but when you're in a marriage everything's supposed to change it's the craziest thing everything's supposed to change well I, this is how you accepted me and not just because we were married or we're bonded that I'm supposed to change There is this uneasiness, and there is this imbalance, and I believe it's money. No, there is an imbalance in the home. There's a great imbalance here in this home. This place where there's supposed to be love and joy and trust. A place where there's supposed to be the sound of children. A place where there's supposed to be peace and and 
tranquility. You hold on to it. You hold on to it. It's very hard for you to let it go, even though you do think about maybe running away or leaving. But from what I'm seeing here, Capricorn, there's a lot of unease. And the uneasiness appears to be over something that's so minute. So it is something that's been, well, you're cheating, or you're doing this, or you're doing that, or just someone keeping a constant eye, you know, and, and watching because there's a lack of trust, or there's just a, it's over something that's so minute and, and so silly that that can be taken care of. But this is what I'm seeing. But I also have fighting any doors that might open to rehabilitate this and to make it better. I certainly do hope that resonates with no one. So who might this be? Well, it could be an Aries. A Libra. A Sag. Could be a Taurus. An Aquarius. All signs are on the board. But that's what I have for you. Let's go to the Gypsy Witch. Fortune telling cards. And we're going to do Pisces. 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 Pisces thinking about me. <laughs> Don't worry, darling. I'll get your video up. We're going to do Capricorn. Who is waiting for someone. Capricorn. Who is waiting. Capricorn. Capricorn waiting. The first thing I'm picking up is a... Uh, it is a broken heart, but not showing it. It's the first thing I'm picking up. <laughs> you see, Capricorn is a master of disguise. They can hide their feelings so well. Let's get her on, and let's get her done. Capricorn waiting for someone to return. One moment, please. Cheers. Let's go. Capricorn waiting for someone. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, wanting to be recognized. Whoa. You know, all in all, another card. You know, Capricorn, I don't think you're going to be waiting too long. I think you're just going to give up the ghost here. I think you're going to say, to hell with this. I, I got to move on. I do feel that whoever you, you're you winning for, they gave you a sense of security. And I think you gave them a sense of security. It, it seemed like it was good. It was nice. And now there's looking back. And this is grief, Capricorn. And that's the first thing I picked up when I was shuffling. It was a great heartbreak while you wait. And this is grieving over something lost. Not turning around and seeing the two cups that are right behind you, overflowing with opportunity. But you're grieving and wanting to be recognized by someone. Going to calmer waters. I think Capricorn, I don't think you're gonna be waiting much longer. I, I think you're getting pretty much tired of the turbulency, of the grieving, of the broken heart. I think you want to move on to calmer waters. I think you want to heal and start your life again. Now you could be dealing with a Gemini, Gemini on the board. So I've got such great passion. You've got a lot of passion for the soulmate. But not only is it just a soulmate, 
but it was also someone who was a very dear friend. Now, you might have started off as friends before you got together, as lovers. But, or whoever you're waiting for. I can't just say lovers. It is a soulmate, though. It could be a family member, or it could be a friend that you're waiting to come back. It could be anyone. But what I have here is that you, that they were more than a soulmate. They were someone who was, uh, as my friend Phoenix says, I got your six. And, and, and I think you had their six too. And, and I just feel that you guys had such passion. Friends. But something happened here. Someone became a deceiver. Let's find out. Hold on. Hold on. How did they deceive you? Well, with the star and the tickety-boo card coming out here, the nine of pentacles. This is someone that helped you heal. This is someone who told you about how great your potential was. This is someone who cheered you on. A comrade. They cheered you on. They, they were there. And like I said, they had your six. But somehow they deceived you. Or you felt deceived. Or you felt they lied to you. And it all come crashing down. With ten hammers coming straight down on top of you. It all came crashing down and brought you worry and anxiety. Distrust. Sadness. Maybe fear. Let's keep going. Capricorn. Waiting. You want this whole brand new pet. Ooh. 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 Well. Okay, now when I said you're going to heal and say to yourself, I have grieved long enough, I'm done. Well, uh, damn. You know what? I, I really do feel <laughs> that suddenly, out of the freaking blue, well, it's not suddenly. I think you thought about it. Even though you hurt. Even though you hurt, I think you felt that... I'm not going to have a new beginning with this person. I don't think they're coming back. I might as well put my guard up and my walls up, and I might as well just keep on going. And it's a shame, because like I said, this person, they just, they, they showed you your potential. And they were there for you when you laughed, when you cried. This was a great comrade that has now just stepped silently out of your life. But you got a wish fulfillment coming in, my darling. With the entrepreneur card coming out here, this is business is freaking booming. Something's happening here, and let's find out what it is. Let's see if we can find out what it is, Capricorn. You got some good stuff coming in here with a wish fulfillment card. You are walking away from somebody here. Well, there is going to be talk about rebuilding something. And I really do feel that maybe it's some sort of an empire. I think some sort of business with the entrepreneur card coming out. Then I have you walking away. I'm done. I can't take no more. I just, I can't take no more feeling this way. It hurts. And I've got to move on. And then, oh, oh comes this. This huge amount of thinking out of the blue. Out of the blue. And what is this thinking? I really do feel like Capricorn. That you've got something coming in here with the entrepreneur card. There's something. Someone has a problem with their left arm. Someone has a problem with their left arm. Eh? 
Capricorn, you could have had maybe a heart attack or a stroke. But I feel greatly that there's something. Maybe you don't have the use of your left arm as much as you used to. Okay, let's keep going with the reading here. Okay, but there's a lot of overthinking here. A lot of thinking about something. And I really do think that you're going to rebuild. There's some kind of communication coming in here, Capricorn. And this communication... Where are the cards? This communication... I think is you're going to build on it. I think you're going to build. Well, I got the two, the ten of cups coming out here. You got some good stuff here. You are standing at the crossroads. There's someone here, Capricorn. I keep picking up somebody here. I got to tell you, Capricorn. There's somebody that does truly, truly love you. Now they, they might be difficult. But I gotta tell you, there's someone that truly, truly loves you. And, and I'm just going on feelings here only, and I, I've felt it through all of your readings. But with the Ten of Cups here, this is uh, the house and the home, and are, are you into uh, maybe building houses, or are you into construction of some sort? But you are standing at the crossroads, and you looked back. And now you're looking at another road. You are going to celebrate. There's something here about rebuilding. There's something here about your Nine of Cups. The Entrepreneur card. And who is a great entre entrepreneur but Capricorn himself? You will celebrate. You're going to be very, very, very successful. If you're not already. If you are already, look at more success. I just want to pull one or two more cards because there's someone here I can hear them crying so bad and, and when I see your grief I see the grief of someone else it could be a Libra it, it could be a Libra maybe got a little bit too strong in the relationship with the eight of swords this is someone who is really feeling they can't let go of you that's for damn sure with the Eight of Swords, this is someone that's going through the mind tornado. And, and it's just swirling. It's one thought after another after another until it becomes a tornado. And you can't process it. It's just too many thoughts. Well, Capricorn, you're looking at success here. And I do feel that you are moving away from waiting and waiting and waiting. But I don't know who you're waiting for, but they're obviously in a hell of a lot of pain. Maybe they're in the tower and they can't reach out. And it just seems to be a waiting game here. You wait, they wait. No one moves. They mirror. So this is what I have for you, Capricorn. Uh, success is what I have for you. And unfortunately, I can really feel the other side. Damn, if only you two could reach it. Just reach out and talk to each other. So I have Libra, Gemini, there's an Aquarius, there's Pisces, there's um, Taurus. All signs are on the board. I think I got them all. All signs are on the board. But this is what I have for you. So Capricorn, those are your three readings. I want to thank you for joining me today. I'm going to go and sage off this, this sadness that I'm feeling that somebody's bringing to me. Somebody in very, very, very sad. So, um, thanks for joining me today. And if you like the way I read, please like and share and subscribe. And I'd really appreciate it. So would Spirit if you hit that thumbs on your way out. And we'll see you the next time. Namaste.